Welcome to Handmade by Ditsy Tulip. I'm Mel and thanks for stopping by. I'm sharing a dress today so you can see it here. This is my latest make that I made this weekend and I absolutely love, love, love how it turned out. So I'm going to tell you um, all about it, what pattern I've used, what fabric I've used and what inspired me to make this dress. So if you're interested in that, then do watch on. Lovely starshine lights my way to bed Magic rainbows glisten in my head Just like a child I live in wonderland All my dreams are coming Okay, so let's tell you all about, all about this lovely dress then. So I'm going to start with my inspiration. Now, um, last week, um, my husband and I watched a new series on Netflix called The Queen's Gambit. If you've not heard of it, if you've not seen it and you've got Netflix, I highly recommend it. The, it's, a, it's, it's a great series anyway, but the outfits in it are absolutely to die for. It's really, really inspired me to want to make some um, vintage type clothes. It's kind of set um, kind of in the 1950s, 1960s, um, and the outfits are absolutely stunning. Now, one thing I did discover only just a couple of days ago is there's actually an um, online expedition that you can go to for free where it showcases all the um, kind of key outfits and tells you a little bit of information about them. So I'll put a little bit of a screen recording in so um, you know what it looks like and then I'll leave a link to that in the video notes. Um, I definitely recommend checking that out because it just kind of um, tells you a bit about the garment and then it shows you a little video clip of when it's been worn so you can see how the fabric moves, tells you what fabric the garment's made out of, etc, etc. So really, really useful and I am just totally inspired. Okay, I thought I'd just show you a bit of a screen recording of the um, online expedition. So you can see it's showcasing primarily the Queen's Gambit outfits, but there's also a few outfits on there from the upcoming series of The Crown as well. Um, but what you do, you just click on Queen's Gambit and then um, you can go around the different outfits. So for example, I can see there at the back is my favourite dress. This is the bow dress. I can then go in for more detail. I can get a full spin view of it. I can see the information. So it tells you kind of the original um, origin, um, inspiration, and the material here is a crepe. And then you can also show a video clip of where this has been worn so you can kind of see how the fabric moves and it's just absolutely stunning and you can see around the different outfits so um, here's another one of my favorites the bow dress Again, you can go in and see all the details, watch the video clip, etc. So definitely check it out. It's certainly worth having a look around. So um, the pattern that I've made then, so you can see it here, it's the Tilly and the Buttons Martha dress. Now I've had this in my pattern stash for ages, probably about two years. I actually won it and um, one of the sewing meetups that we have in Nottingham um, I actually won it when I attended one of those and it sat there on the shelf and uh, I don't know I just haven't been that inspired by the versions I think that were on the pattern so I, it never really kind of um, jumped out at me to make however um, after watching the Queen's Gambit I really wanted to make that style of dress so I thought that I would give it a go and I'm so so pleased that I did I absolutely love it a bit about the fabric so the fabric that I've used is a most gorgeous merchant and mills linen um, which has been gifted to me by Minerva.com so um, I have received the fabric for free um, in return for that, I will be writing a blog post for Minerva um, that I'll share over on my pages on their website, um, but of course also able to share it with you as well. 
So Merchant and Mills Linen, um, it is a bit on the pricey side, but I've worked with Merchant and Mills Linen a few times now and the things that I make have all turned out absolutely gorgeous and it just gets better and better with age. The more that you wash this, um, the softer it becomes. Um, it's just absolutely glorious. I will come in closer to show you the details um, in a second, but I'll just give you kind of a, a, an overview. Now, I had three meters of this fabric, but didn't quite need that amount. Let's see how much you do need. Um, can't see where it says. Can't see where it says, so I'll put a bit of text in to um, let you know. But with three meters, I did just about um, have enough. I've got a little bit left over. Um, but not, not enough really to make um, a garment out of. Um, what I'll probably do is make something like the little mini dresses or something like that with the leftovers. Um, and yeah, I decided just to kind of go for um, the, the, the one kind of block colour. But then what I've done is added um, a little bit of lace on the sleeve. So these sleeves are really nice. Hopefully you can see from there, they're slight bell sleeves. So I've added a little bit of a lace edge and then what I've also done is hand sewn on some um, pearls and little diamantes around the collar as well um, just to give it that extra special vintagey feel. As I say I will come in closer to show you in a second. I made um, a straight size 3 I think it was. Um, no adjustments at all and that fits me absolutely perfectly and the pattern does come in two different lengths you've got a mini length and you've got a longer length I did go for the mini length but what I've done is done a bias binding hem now I think Tilly's patterns mini length are kind of quite well known for being really short um, which when I'm wearing tights I'm absolutely fine with that I'm not bothered how short it is but I wanted to be able to wear this in all seasons so maybe without tights in the spring summer months um, so for that reason um, I did make the mini length um, but from a point of view of how much hem has been turned up it'll just be a quarter of an inch because then what I've done is added bias binding really love a bias bound hem as well just makes it fall um, really nice with that little bit of extra weight in the hem area um, I haven't lined this it actually doesn't give an option for lining in this pattern but of course you you, you could um, line it just by um, making the pattern pieces up in um, a lining and adding it but I actually didn't want to line it because I wanted to keep the, the um, fluidity is that even a word um, of the linen so um, yeah I did I didn't line it what you do have on the inside um, is a facing so of course you've got the sleeves that um, are attached and then you've got a stand-up collar and then on the inside you've got um, a collar facing as well so it encloses those seams around the neck area so let me come in a little bit closer and show you this dress up close Okay, so let's show you what the dress looks like up close. So that's what it looks like in its full length before I zoom in. And you can see it's got this lovely collar. Um, and what I've done is I've added little, um, I've hand sewn on little diamantes and pearls. And that's around the neck edge up into the shoulder. It's the first time I've actually sewed on any beading type things and you can see some of them kind of move about a bit and go a bit wonky so I'll need to perfect my technique I think with that going forward what you've then got is these beautiful princess seams so you've got the seams run all the way down the bodice and then that follows through all the way through the skirt and that's the same on the back as well so you can see that princess seam runs all the way down the back too. And then the back closes with a little button and um, an elastic hoop. You've then got the sleeves are set in sleeves with this nice kind of bell shape. 
And then what I've done is added a bit of lace just to give it a little trim. I did do a poll on Instagram to see whether I should add the lace down the princess seams as well and there was an outstanding vote for no. It was about 76% voted no, don't do that. So um, I followed your advice and just kept it on the sleeves. You've then got the waist seam. Um, so I've added this sweet little belt that I got from TK Maxx. And then for the hem, I've done a bias bound hem using some linus, linen bias binding that I'd got in my stash. And I think the muted colour works really well with the pink of the dress. And then you can see the inside seams are overlocked with my overlocker. So that's it, that's the dress up close. Okay, so I hope you love the details. Um, looking at one thing I do need to correct, I'll show you the back. When I came to insert the zip, um, I'd put my invisible zipper foot in a very safe place, that safe, I couldn't find it. So that was as kind of invisible as I could get with a standard zipper foot, but I've now found the invisible um, zipper foot. So what I will do is just kind of stitch over that again and, and make it even more invisible so you can't see that white little bit running down the back. I've also added some belt loops. Um, so I've added two at the back on those princess seams and I've added two at the side to try and kind of keep the belt up in that waistline area. Um, mm. However, it is still drooping down a little bit at the front, so what I might need to do is add a couple more belt loops on those front princess seams as well, um, just to keep that, um, that, that belt in place. So I think I'll add those as well. So I absolutely love this dress, it's absolutely glorious to wear, it's super comfortable and I know I'll get loads of wear out of it and I'll be able to wear it in all seasons. Um, I would definitely recommend the dress, I actually when I searched I hadn't seen any versions of this made up in linen from what I could find so I was a bit worried because I was thinking mm, does everybody else know something I don't know and you shouldn't make this type of dress in a linen um, but it's absolutely beautiful with how it's, how it's turned out um, so yeah I would um, highly recommend it um, it's turned out absolutely beautiful and i will definitely be making some more versions of this i'm really inspired to make some more dresses now um, and i'm just going to put in a couple of photos of a couple of dresses that i really like from the queen's gambit so if you've got any ideas on patterns that i could use um, to kind of coincide with them then please do let me know in the comments so that's it, that's all I wanted to share today. I hope you're all keeping very, very well and I will see you soon. Bye. All my dreams are coming, all my dreams are humming, all my